what's up what's up what's up this your boy JG back with another video of music tips and reviews with JG um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please press the subscribe button so you'll be updated on all my latest content uh, and if you like this video uh, also put the like button uh, press the like button if you like it um, if you want to support me uh, dollar sign J Gills VA my cash app and also uh, has super chat available during this premiere uh, of this album review uh, Taylor Swift Midnight's album review uh, I thought I'll uh, review this album uh, a very very high selling album uh, I believe it sold 1.5 million uh, units uh, so far uh, compared to the Drake and uh, 21 Savage uh, I think they sold like three, three fifty, three hundred fifty thousand, I believe. So, yeah, Taylor Swift, you know, I, I think ten of her songs made the top ten uh, list uh, on the charts. So, that's that's crazy. Uh, her album, you know, made that you know that high on the on the list. So, uh, congrats to Taylor Swift on her accomplishments you know on her album and uh i know i'm a little late doing this review <laughs> i've been you know very busy and uh just really trying to listen to this album really give a good review uh for this album i do i do a lot of research when i do these uh, album reviews so it kind of took me a while to absorb this album um it's a lot to really <laughs> look at you know like with this, this particular album uh, I really had to read the lyrics to really get what these songs really meant uh, on this album. It's definitely a difference from when she first came out uh, to now as far as her sound. Uh, you know, since she came out in her early years, you know, she started out really country. And then she got into this pop element and now she's in this abstract uh, type of vibe on this album. Very interesting. And uh, this is an album uh, mostly uh, produced by uh, Jack Atenoff, a uh, great producer uh, that she's been collaborate, collaborating with for a little while. So uh, we're going to check out the track list uh, for this album. Uh, like I said, it sold 1.5 million units. Uh, I, I think it was the first week or yeah, just by, you know, so far. But uh, if you know more information about this album, uh, please put it up. But, uh, you know, I've been listening to this album, really trying to, you know, figure out the whole theme of this album. Uh, very, very interesting album. Uh, to me, it felt kind of like a, a journal, <laughs> you know, or inside, inside of her mind, you know, you know, really getting into this success. You know, as a songwriter, as a, a a producer, as a musician, as you know, somebody that really, you know, have achieved you know fame, you know, in her career, and so uh, you know, we're gonna get into this track list. We're gonna get into it, and uh, I'm gonna give you a rating at the end. But uh, first, yeah, I want to get into this uh, track list. So start with the cover, very interesting. Uh, it it kind of shows like she's kind of in a personal vibe on this album from the cover. She really expressing her true self, you know, in ways, you know, ways she never did before. Uh, if, you know, in, on this album, you, you know, especially the lyrics, I think she really expressed herself in ways that she hasn't before. And uh, start with Lavender Hayes. I just love the, the vibe of the whole album. It's very spacey. Um, I just loved, you know, she really experimented with the sound. Uh, they didn't really add a lot of elements. They kind of made it where, where the lyrics can really come out. And uh, a lot of reverb, a lot of, you know, really experiment with sounds. Uh, this album really you know reminiscent of like a prince vibe you know his his sounds is really abstract and a lot of lo-fi and a lot of um 
filters, you know, his music, and this kind of resemble that that sound as far as his album. It's not you know straight you know pop, but it's really like experimental to me. Uh, this whole album. So uh, Lavender Haze, uh, it really expressed you know she she's in love with someone, and she don't really care about you know what. You know, people feel on the outside, you know, about her relationship. Uh, Maroon is, you know, she she started off with the album Red. Now she's in Maroon. So it's showing other sides of her, you know, her life. Uh, that her, her relationship is kind of complex. You know, the person who she's with. Uh, I love Antihero. She said this is like her greatest song she's has written so far in her career uh, I love the, the the filtered sound in there I love the scent pad in there uh, I just I just love everything you know she goes into details about herself and how sometimes she might feel like she's a failure and so uh, I thought that was a very interesting song as well and I believe that was one of her singles anti-hero uh, snow on the beach, uh, very, very. Vibe, very abstract. And interesting. Uh, this love is very uh, special for her in her life. So throughout this album, it's like an on and off uh, vibe. You know. Really with somebody uh, that she really love um, you're on your own kid that's kind of like talking about a person you know that really wants to be in love but it can't of you know really growing up maybe around a teenager age in her life seems and and the lyrics throughout the album is really interesting very detailed uh, very uh, descriptive, <laughs> I must say. It's, it's very inspiring, though. You know, the way she writes, she's writing on this album. Uh, it's very inspiring to me as well. You know how she's really expressing herself on this on this album. Um, Crush, uh, excuse me, Midnight Rain. Uh, I love the I love the interesting vocals on the hook. <laughs> kind of give you that weekend vibe, the weekend vibe on the hook. Uh, she, she's kind of like in her relationship you know the, the the topic of this one is she's kind of you know in her relationship for music uh, but but the person the guy really wanted a long lasting life uh, with her you know a long life with her but she kind of wanted to end it because she's into music and so it's kind of like a journal like I said you know it's kind of her really expressing you know the relationships he, she's been in you know since she's gained success and really uh midnight rain is like that love is washed away like it's it's gone you know she she's like she's forgetting about that love because she's so focused on her musical success and uh i thought that was very interesting uh question it's like she's competing on, on question she's like competing uh with you know the the lover of the, her ex lover is is has moved on and she's like you know was I this was I that and uh it, it's it's you know she's comparing the relationship that they had to his 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 you know his current relationship and so uh that was questions uh vigilant ish I ain't gonna say the word, <laughs> but vigilant ish. Uh, that was that was interesting as well. Uh, I love the 808 in there. The beat was kind of empty to me, but uh, I thought it was very interesting. Uh, it's kind of like she wants revenge for her past relationship. Uh, she kind of went against even with the guy. I guess the guy kind of treated her bad, or something happened in the past where she went against even kind of like a crime <laughs> type and so uh bejeweled uh 
that was that was interesting. Uh, I love the bass on that one. I love the Sonics. Uh, she knows she can be better than what her man thinks she is. I think that's that's the vibe of that. The lyrics, uh, Liberinth, uh I love the 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 space of that. Uh, she's trying to you know find love right after a heartbreak, and she realized she's really in love with the person. I guess this is probably the one she really wants or really need in her life. So that was interesting. Uh, Karma. Uh, I love the, the TV sound at the beginning, that sample and throughout the song. Uh, she trying to, she's really confronting people from the past and, you know, saying they're going to pay consequences for their actions. And she kind of name drops. She talks about Kanye and Kim Kardashian, that type of thing that's that's going on. Uh, Sweet Nothing. Nothing. Uh, I love that keyboard. It sounds like a Wurlitzer type keyboard sound uh, on that song. Uh, she's kind of, you know, you know, pressure, the pressure of success, but she, she finds comfort in her relationship. It kind of relieves her uh, from, you know, that, you know, all the success and fame and fortune. And uh, I guess, you know, anything that her, the, the guy she loves does that really is kind of comforting her, she just loves. So, that's that's what Matt, uh, sweet nut sweet nothing is about. And uh, the last song, Mastermind, was very interesting. I love this song. Uh, I love the pagiated synth that was at the beginning and the kick. I love that, that kick that was in there. And then she's kind of like setting things up, you know, her relationship, so they can stay together. And uh, it's like she know that the guys know the guy knows, but she's still kind of plotting things in a relationship in order for the relationship to last so that was the uh what i got from the album like i said very interesting album i always loved uh taylor swift songwriting and i think you know from her other albums i think she was more uh detailed in this album <laughs> she used a lot of symbolism in this album uh she, her her writing has totally changed uh, since her first album. I think her first few albums she was very like straightforward with her lyrics, but I think now she has experienced a lot, you know, from success and so many events happen in her life since then. She's more descriptive with her uh, lyrics, and I, of course, when you achieve uh, achieve success, you can discuss more with your fans. And I think she's at that that point of her life where she can do that. So y'all let me know what y'all got from the album. Uh, that's kind of my description of each song and what I thought about, you know, each song. And hopefully y'all got something from what I've learned from the album. You know, what I got from the album. And uh, it was a good album. I think it was kind of empty in some spec, you know, some spots on the album. Um, but it, you know, it's, it's people's style, you know, production style. I think, uh, Jack Atenoff, that's his, his style, you know, production. And I, I think it's pretty cool. You know, she really, it's, it's kind of like they was kind of, you know, just going off of their heart and what they felt at the time to write about. And it's, it's very interesting, but again, congrats to Taylor Swift on this album. 1.5 million units is incredible you know during this day and time with streaming and and stuff like that and so uh yeah i, I do all types of albums uh pop albums rap r&b you know i just love love music so uh i thought i'd do this one midnight's album by taylor swift and y'all know so uh you know y'all know i do uh ratings ratings for uh these albums that i review and uh this is not what my favorite album i must say it's not my favorite taylor swift album but uh one of my favorite is uh red the red album i love that that album uh red uh, i love a lot of songs on that album but uh i hate to say 
but I I, I gotta get this album uh six point five out of ten. I think I think it could have been a little bit more on this album. It's just my personal opinion. Uh I give it a six point five out of ten. <laughs> uh in some parts I feel it's kinda overrated to me. Uh this album. But let me know what y'all think about this album. I, I feel it's six point five out of ten. The lyrics is kind of really like you really have to look at the lyrics to really realize what the plot is. You know, I really had to dig in on this album because just listening to it, you're not really going to get everything, you know, the details because you're so trying to listen to the music and listen to the lyrics. So, uh, yeah, I give this a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, if you agree, give me a comment. If you disagree, give me a comment and let me know what you thought, you know, why you gave it, you, you know, you think it should be a higher rating. So, uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. Uh, I gave it a 6.5 out of 10 and uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, if you enjoy my content uh, appreciate y'all for watching also I got my hoodies music tips and reviews with JG hoodies uh, if you want to purchase that the link is on is going to be below the video so appreciate y'all for watching uh, I always enjoy to express my love for music to y'all so it's been another video from your boy JG. Alright, peace.